This is a tutorial on how to use Microsoft Excel for data analysis. In this case, we'll use stock data to do the analysis. So first of all, we're going to come, uh, come to um, finance. Let me see if I can get this in here. OK, finance.yahoo.com. And this is where we'll collect the data, although it's available from other places as well. And then we'll just search for a uh, company. I'll go ahead and just do um, Microsoft MSFT. OK, and search. OK, and then uh, what that'll bring up uh, some Microsoft uh, data about the company. And, um, and then what I want to do is go to um, historical data right there. There's a little tab, historical data. And that'll give me a month of uh, data for Microsoft. OK, so it's going to go ahead and load. And then it's going to give me uh, this option right here to download the data. So go ahead and just select that, um, save it, and open. OK, and, and it's going to save it as a CSV file, a comma separated value file. And um, you know what, I'm going to go back and just find that uh, where it downloaded that. OK, so here's the download right here. If you right click it, this is just going to be you know, editing it with uh, um, you know, just a notepad plus plus or notepad, you're going to see that this is just a text file. OK, but it's a CSV file. Microsoft can also uh, open that. And let me go back here. OK, so it's currently saved as a CSV file. And so what we're going to do is we're going to save this. Um, you know, we'll save it. And it says that some of your features might be lost if you save it just as this text file, a CSV file. And so do you want to keep using that format? We'll say no. OK, and then that'll allow us to browse and put it somewhere else. OK, in this case, I'm going to just put it on my desktop. And I'm going to call this uh, stock uh, data dot. Um, OK, and then I can change the extension here. And I'll change it to Excel workbook. OK, so now it's an Excel workbook. It looks like I have two periods in there. I'll fix that later. If I need to see this, I can double click between the two. Uh, a and B, and it'll expand it to show me that I have about a month worth of data. Okay, so this is Microsoft. I'm going to change the tab down here to Microsoft. Okay, um, and I need a T there. Okay, so there's Microsoft. I can add a couple more as well. I'm just going to show this. Um, and, uh, you know, the date, the open, high, low, close and volume and there's certain plots that um, you know are, are built into Excel kind of templates knowing that uh, you know people do this kind of analysis um, all the time uh, so we're going to use some of those um, those templates in, to plot and analyze uh, this we also want to do a little bit of analysis on on uh, some of the you know let's do the uh, the close price for um, Okay, let's find the maximum close price over the month. Okay, so I can do max. And then if I come down here to, uh, let's say, E21, uh, and then I hit control, um, it'll take me, and I hit up or down, it'll take me up or down to the top or bottom. Um, and then if I hold shift as well, then it's going to select that. And then I take off the control, just hold shift, and do down one. And then that's going to just select this region between E2 and E21. And then I close parentheses. OK, so uh, you can do these uh, shortcut keys with the shift and control keys to navigate around and select the region that you want in Excel. OK, so there's the max um, over that time period. And let's say I want to normalize this. OK, so I'll just make another column here, um, normalized. Um, and so let's say I do close divided by the maximum. And then I'm going to hit F4 because I don't want that to change as I drag this formula down. And there we go. So the maximum, you can see it occurred right here. That's equal to 1. And the rest of them are going to be lower than one. But let's go back to our, our plotting of this data. Um, 
I'm going to come to date, open, high, low, and close. Let me just go ahead and select this first of all. And I held down the shift and control and then hit down. And so I'm going to go to insert. And then I have some recommended charts. I'm going to go over here to scatter. Okay, I'm going to insert uh, and I'm going to go to more scatter chart types. And I'm going to select this uh, stock. And here it says that if I have a, uh, you know, this could be an open, high, low, and close. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just select this. And this could be my Microsoft. Okay, I could put change the title, for example. Um, okay, and there's Microsoft. Okay, so you have this data. Let's say I want to put volume in there as well. You need to adjust the order just a little bit. Um, I'm going to go ahead and create a new uh, range down here. Okay, I'm going to go down just a little bit more because i got to change the order of these. The volume is going to go in there instead of the open. Okay, and then you just select the region and insert. And this will also give you the volume that the stock was traded. Go to more scatter charts and then go to stock. And so this one right here, volume, high, low, and close. So you just have to have it in these, uh, you know, this order, and then it'll create a plot automatically for you. Um, you know, if you need to adjust the right uh, scale, and this is the open, uh, the uh, high, low, and close here on the right. If you just um, select that, okay, then it gives you the options. Double click it, uh, you know, the minimum and maximum. So let's say I want to change the minimum to something like, uh, you know, 58. Okay, and the maximum looks okay. So you can adjust that. You can adjust the scale on those. Um, one of the things that you want, want to do is just insert this into a presentation, for example. Uh, one of the things I like to do is just take away that outside border. So right click on this kind of white area around the plot. Um, and then you can do format chart area. And you'll see some options come up here like border or fill. I'll just change that to no line. Okay, so there's no um, line around that chart. And then if I just do Control C, select it to copy it, Control C. And then uh, let's say I want to create a new PowerPoint um, presentation, just a blank presentation. And I might be showing somebody these uh, stocks, and then I paste this chart in. Okay, now it's on the bottom right, it's going to give me an option of how I can paste that in. And uh, you can keep the source format, embed workbook. You can use destination theme. Um, I think the best, the one that looks the best generally is just use the picture. Um, but it's uh, not going to be as high of uh, resolution as embedding it because you're essentially embedding an Excel uh, worksheet into your uh, presentation. Okay, so that's one way to... Um, you know, just get rid of that border around it. That looks um, it looks bad to have a border around there. Uh, but there's other things that you might want to change um, in your charts as well. Okay, so let's go ahead and compare uh, you know Microsoft with a couple others. Uh, we might want to use this uh, normalized column right here, just so one isn't you know 600 and the other one is going to be you know 60, uh, you know something like that. Um, so let's go ahead and compare. A couple others. Uh, I'm going to go back to um, this. Uh, you know, you could probably just you know figure out uh, the web address here and even create a macro within um, you know Excel to do this for you. Okay, to uh, plug in the ticker symbols here and then get um, you know this historical data for. For example, ExxonMobil, you know, grab the historical data. Okay, so let me get this uh, download. Okay, so there it is. Save. I'll save that one. Open it. Okay, now in this case, I'm just going to go ahead and I'm not going to create a new workbook. I'm just going to copy this out. And one of the things I want to show you with this is just how to uh, combine data 
from multiple uh, sheets. Okay, so let me go ahead and do a normalized here as well. Uh, that's going to be equal to uh, the close price divided by the uh, max. Okay, and I'm just going to put this in as, oops, I forgot to, max of, okay, let me select this region, and if I hit F4, it's going to put dollar signs there, so it's going to be the max of that region, and I can just um, drag down. Okay, if I double click this, it'll drag, it'll essentially drag that down for me. So this little uh, box, a little black, uh, when it turns into a black crosshair like that, then you can just double click and it will fill down for you uh, those calculations. So if you need to check that, um, you know, check one of the cells. Okay, so it's going to be this E12 uh, divided by the max of that range. Okay, and let's do one more. Okay, you can adjust this just to see the date. Uh, let's go ahead and do one more here. I'll do um, Apple. Okay, so let's get some data on Apple as well. Search. And, okay, I'll download the data and save it. And open. Let's just grab this. Okay, same thing as before. Uh, but um, again, what I want to show is how to access uh, data for a plot uh, from multiple uh, sheets. Okay, so let's just go ahead and name this APPL. Okay, and we'll do the normalized again. Okay, close price divided by the max of that region, F4 to give you your dollar signs. Okay, and let's see. Let me get this to drag down. Select that cell, hit double click it, drag it down. Okay, so I've got the normalized data. Okay, so I, what I might want to do is just make a new chart here. I could copy over those, but uh, let me just go ahead and insert a new chart. Um, Okay, and I'll do a scatter chart with a trend to it. And there's nothing there right now, so if I right click or uh, let me go ahead and right click this. Okay, so I can select data at this point. And then I can add, um, you know, a series name. Um, let's just say I want this one to be Microsoft. And then if you select the X values right here. It allows you to go out and select from anywhere within your workbook. I'm just going to go ahead and select the uh, dates there and then the Y values. That's going to be this uh, normalized. Okay, so here I'm not really using a wizard at all. It's more of, um, you know, I'm just using, um, you know, this, this uh, dialogue box here and if I click enter I get this you know the Microsoft data there okay and then if I want to add more um, again the same thing I'm gonna add another one it's gonna make it look a little bit funny as I'm adding it because just good say it's ones um, select the data range go to Exxon mobile dates enter select the normalize down enter okay and then okay okay so I've got Exxon Mobil. let me add one more okay I'm almost done Apple X values okay Y values are gonna be the normalized and okay so here we kind of have a very raw plot. It doesn't look very good. You might want to format it. For example, I might want to just uh, uh, select something like this, these dates and maybe try to condense those just a little bit. 
Uh, so in general with Microsoft Excel plots you can just double click the element that you want to try to change and uh, and then you can you know format um, you know format whatever you want um, you know about them okay so you could go to tick marks for example um, you could go to text options okay text fill uh, you know there's a lot of options there that you can play around with um, you know the labels for example um, the number I'm going to change the date to make it look just a little bit uh, better uh, maybe just delete the year okay let's see if I can add okay so I just have the the month and the, the day it makes it look just a little bit better um, also I might want to add something like a uh, you know, come up here to design and then add a chart element I might want to add it and you know an axis title a primary vertical okay and then uh, that's going to give me a default axis title I can just delete that and do norm normalized price you know comparing these let's say I want to have a legend as well okay come to format and or design add chart element and then I select legend and I can choose where to put it I can choose um, you know kind of a default place first of all and but then I can move that if I want to you know just kind of move it into uh, this area just not take up extra space and then adjust this so it kind of fills up the chart area Okay, you can also adjust the date range, you know, uh, just make it look better um, in general uh, for this this comparison. Okay, so I'm comparing the different stocks. Um, I've imported those. I put them in different uh, work sheets here. This is a workbook overall as a collection of the sheets. And then I plotted the data, the normalized data to compare three uh, different stocks. Okay, so that's this tutorial on uh, you know really a data analysis. Uh, the the main thing is that uh, you know you can pull in data from other places. CSV files are a good source. Uh, text files. Uh, there's also web queries that you can do in Microsoft Excel. They will pull in the data automatically each day, and you can do the same analysis on the data. Um, but there's a lot of uh, you know very nice uh, trending plotting tools that you do to for the analysis.